Good morning, beautiful people. I am feeling super good today. I crushed some cardio this morning. Ooh, minus this giant pimple on my forehead. That little visitor wanted to come say hello this morning. But we're gonna roll with it because number one skincare tip that I have for you guys is don't pop your pimples. I know that it's a struggle not to when they're just like chilling there and they're just like invading your life, <laughs> but don't do it. It can cause scarring and it's just, no, 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 no. Don't pop your pimples. Any esthetician will tell you that that is probably the worst thing you can do. Just exfoliate, cleanse your skin, and put some spot treatment on and just let it run its course. Go see your esthetician and let them do the extractions. Don't pop your zits yourself. Like I said, back on track here, crushed some cardio this morning. I'm on week three of my prep. Still feeling good, feeling really strong still. Um, my macros have not changed once since I started my prep. I'm not decreasing calories or anything yet. The biggest struggle I feel like in the beginning of prep is wanting to see that end result right away. I'm nowhere near stage lean yet, but I know that I will get there and I just have to trust the process and not try and speed it up because personally for me, if I try and speed that up, if I overdo my cardio, if I cut my calories too fast, I end up looking stringy and just way too lean on stage. The approach that works better for me is keeping my calories consistent in the beginning and just doing a slower and steady cut. Um, and that's how I maintain my fullness on stage. And so it's a little bit of a mental battle in the beginning when you wanna see yourself stage lean and shredded like right away after two weeks of dieting, but that's not how it works, guys. So the biggest tip I have here is just stay consistent and trust the process. And that's something that I'm having to take my own advice from right now is just stay consistent, stay the course, and trust the process and know that it will all come together in the right timing. And that word of consistency just goes for anywhere you are in your fitness journey. I know that it can be a little bit of a struggle mentally and a challenge mentally when you're putting in the work, you're training hard, and you're really not maybe seeing the results come as quickly as you like. The biggest thing you can do here is just stay consistent and trust the process and just get out of your head and know that if you do stay consistent, the results will come. And so just remember that, guys, and don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself some credit for putting in the work and know that the results will come with consistency. So. That's kind of what I'm doing right now, trying to get out of my own head and just hitting my training hard, staying consistent on my diet, getting my water in. And so I am headed to the gym fairly soon now and I know a lot of you guys have requested that you wanna see more of like the supplements and the things that I take. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm taking for my pre-workout today. I don't always take pre-workout because I don't wanna be reliant on it. When I do, I take uh, the NLA for her Uplift. This is the Guava Passion flavor. I love the Raspberry Lemonade too, but this is the one I'm taking today. So I do one scoop of this about 20 minutes before my workout. And then I'm also going to take one her Carnitine capsule. I take two her carnitines a day. Uh, carnitine is a stimulant free fat metabolizer so you can stack this with a fat burner and it's not going to give you any extra stimulants or extra caffeine or there's no caffeine in carnitine. It's a stimulant free fat metabolizer so it helps to support your metabolism, helps to support fat loss. Taking one of these before my workout. I also take one of these about midday as well. So Pre-workout stack, one scoop of uplift, one her carnitine. So I'm actually going to be meeting a new friend today at the gym, a girl named Andrina from Switzerland. She reached out to me. She's here in LA just for a brief period of time and we connected on social media and decided we would get in a training session together. So we are going to hit back today and I will take you guys along with me. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer While we are so Seem to be alive Break the chains And our freedom's all set
back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows Go with Did a good back workout. Finished with glutes. Finished with glutes. Got a picture, of course. That's gonna wrap it up for the day. We actually met on social media, so you guys know that that's how majority of all of us girls have met. So, you know, if you're feeling alone in your fitness journey, I know sometimes people talk about how we're no longer really close with a lot of our friends that we were once close with, like back in college and things like that, just because interests change. And her and I met on social media, and that's yeah. how I've met most of my friends. So. You know, if you're feeling alone, like I said, in your fitness journey, just stay true to you, keep doing what you're doing, and the right people will come along at the right time. Post-workout is going to be my bite meals, four ounces of chicken, four ounces of red potatoes, and half a cup of green beans. Looks good. So I've had these Lululemon gift cards burning a hole in my pocket since Christmas. So I am going to do a little shopping today and see what I can find. Picked up a few tops I'm going to try on and some leggings. This is top number one. Not like the biggest fan of these like super flowy tops. I'm going to say no to this one. Purple on purple. Not so cute. I don't really love this one either. These tanks are just not flattering when you're short. Yeah. So I'm just having one of those days, I guess, where literally I tried on everything and hated everything. So I stopped mid-try on and just said, I'm going to come back another day. We all have those days. Sometimes you go in and you try on everything and everything looks great and you feel super confident and super great and everything and you break the bank and buy it all. And then sometimes you go in and just nothing feels right. That's how I was feeling today, so I said, I'm just gonna stop here, I'm not gonna try anything else on, and I'm just gonna call it a day and come back another time. That's how that shopping trip went. 
I am feeling extra sore after some really intense training sessions, so I'm gonna hit up the cryo zone and get in a good cryotherapy session that always does wonders for my mood, wonders for my energy levels. So a lot of work to get done for the rest of the day today, so this will be much needed. All right guys, so we're getting it set up now. This is what it looks like inside before it all fills up with freezing cold something. <laughs> nitrogen. <laughs> nitrogen, nitrogen gas. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get it pre-cooled for you. And then uh, I'll let you start changing and get ready to go. Cool, thank you. So. So I will be putting on socks, gloves, Ugg boots for more protection, and then really thick gloves for more protection for my hands too. home now and I want to share with you guys a really quick easy way to get your glutamine in for the day you guys know that I swear by my glutamine intake it is essential for recovery and it also helps to keep your gut healthy as well so one thing you can do what I'm about to do I just made some coffee and I am going to throw one scoop which is five grams of glutamine into my coffee it's flavorless so super easy way to just get in your glutamine for the day That is going to wrap up today's vlog. I appreciate you guys so much for being here and so much for being a part of this journey. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Mwah! can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right